morning guys, uh, Tom checking in for dry January update, uh, it's actually now the afternoon, a um, bit of a different one today, I am driving to uh, Warwick, uh, Midlands, uh, from down in Dorset, uh, on my sort of standard uh, weekly journey if you like, or I have been doing so for the last uh, six months for a work project, um, only the sort of... Uh, only the little bit of downtime I've had recently to get this video done. I appreciate I haven't done a blog for a few days now, actually. Um, so apologies for that if you were following. Uh, we're now halfway through dry January. Um, and, well, actually just over halfway. We did halfway this weekend. So it marks a bit of a milestone for everyone. Um, and yeah, interestingly, this weekend, I don't know why, but it was a psychosomatic thing, it was actually quite difficult. I had a few sort of uh, personal stresses at home, um, just with some sort of uh, family stuff. Uh, but yeah, this, this weekend was difficult. And uh, you know, Saturday night when I just wanted to sort of relax, um, you know, sitting on a sofa, I really, really would have liked a glass of, uh, a glass of wine, um, which doesn't bode too well to the sort of saying, you don't need alcohol to relax. There's a lot of talk actually in the media at the moment about, you know, Januarys are always miserable, everyone's always sort of a bit broke at this time of the year, um, and, you know, alcohol is sometimes a little bit nice just to have that kind of uh, relaxing evening now and again. But anyway, I've stuck to it, haven't had a drink, being honest about that, um, and yeah, it is going okay. <laughs> this weekend, actually, I found, uh, I talked to you in one of my previous blogs about finding this non-alcoholic wheat beer, it's a German uh, beer, I forget the name of it now, um, that was so good, I actually wanted to go back to the pub and get some, and it's not, not often that I think, oh, I'd like to go to a pub to have a non-alcoholic drink, so I thought I combined that with a bit of an exercise, and uh, we walked down to the, the, the pub in question, um, it's quite nice actually, did a sort of a power walk there in the rain, uh, it took kind of an hour there, an hour back, which was uh, a nice sort of Sunday evening activity. Got all the way down to the pub and I sort of said, right, brilliant, let's have a, uh, a nice bottle of that um, non-alcoholic wheat beer. And unfortunately, uh, it uh, had all sold out. And apparently they, the, the pub had actually been, uh, uh, been really hammered on all of the soft drinks for dry January, obviously, especially the non-alcoholic beers. Um, and this pub actually has its own little brewery in the back as well um, and does, uh, yeah, brewing. So that was a bit of a disappointment, so I resorted to the standard sort of like Diet Coke, which, uh, you know, oh well, not the end of the world, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've been, been pretty productive this weekend. You know, I'm going to be very, very honest with everyone and say I haven't noticed massive health benefits in this. I was planning on doing a weigh-in video um, kind of doing some metrics on fat loss etc however based on weight alone I might have lost a pound over a couple of weeks which in reality that could kind of fluctuate on a weekly basis anyway um, could be that I, you know I've been training more at the gym I've been eating a lot more protein taking a lot of shakes as well uh, so it could well be the offset of that extra food consumption or be a healthy uh, is, is attributed to some, let's say, not reduction in weight. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing um, because, you know, fat can be lost but still adding muscle, which is good. Uh, however, yeah, not noticed a massive amount of weight loss. I also spoke to someone else who was doing dry January and neither of they so far. But in reality, if you're not taking on those extra calories each day, at some point, you know, maybe whether it takes a month or two, you are going to notice some weight loss, I'm guessing, because if you're taking on an extra 5,000 calories a week, I mean, it would be scientifically impossible, I would have thought, not to not to reduce some weight. Um, I think my skin might be a bit clearer, actually. That could be one benefit. I don't tend to look at my skin too much, and I probably don't do enough, actually, to um, moisturize and all of that. Uh, you know, I don't take care too much of that. So, however, yeah, my skin might be a little bit clearer. Obviously, the main benefit is productivity on a weekend, no hangovers, and that has been really nice for these last couple of weekends. Not that I get massive hangovers anyway, um, but 
regardless it's still been really nice uh, yeah so again no no major health benefits I don't think obviously the, the, the goodness it's doing for my liver and everything I would have liked uh, to have done some kind of analysis on that to see, to see how healthy my liver is now um, but anyway that, that there must be some health benefits there um, still not managed to do an accurate body fat percentage reading yet although I will try and get one of those before the end of dry January so yeah just plodding on um, gym again tonight I'm trying to hit the gym now four to five times a week which is actually working out okay as you can see it sometimes is a bit difficult with traveling and everything um, it's half past 12 now and uh, by the time I get to the office I'm working at you know uh, I'll get probably gonna be there till late but no excuses I get to the gym I get to the gym tonight uh, do, a, do a workout so yeah it's a good dry good 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 progress so far I think um, hope everyone else is doing well uh, and yeah I'm, I'm not looking forward necessarily to a drink at the end of it but I think you know my outlook has changed on alcohol now I think I, I will go back probably to having some alcohol but not in the weekdays I'm gonna cut that out completely unless there's an absolute special occasion a birthday or something um, and then at the weekends I will I think dramatically reduce my intake to remove that binge drinking element so yeah um, staying positive I uh, hope everyone else is doing good and uh, yeah that's that's my dry January update by the way if anyone's wondering what car I've got today uh, I'm driving in a VW Passat a new Passat um, and one thing is I usually get a different hire car most weeks because uh, where I work I'm not on company car scheme or anything um, but I have to use a hire car so fortunately the hire car company I have are very flexible in giving me a, a wide variety of cars uh, and I've, I've driven everything from you know um, Ford Fiesta uh, all the way up to sort of I think the best car I got one time was an E-Class Merc which is okay you know a nice car um, anyway not really dry January related but I am going to do some short videos I think on these car reviews because I do do a lot of different cars and this one in particular really really nice car for long driving if you're a sales rep or anything um, I'm sitting on now with the active cruise control enabled uh, I don't personally have that in my Audi S3 and that is a real benefit um, so it's literally if I had active lane assist the car would be nearly driving itself Anyway, going off tangent as I usually do. Dry January, going well. Uh, we'll try and do another update over the coming days. Thanks for listening, guys, and speak soon.